God. It's called Meet the Grams. How? Wait a minute. How he make a song called Meet the Grams and he just dropped a song called Family Matters? This means, this can only mean two things, Steve. If he dropped a song called Meet the Grams, if he dropped a song called Family Matters, it means two things. He got information directly from the Lincoln OVO, right? Or he went in the studio and just recorded that all straight. Yeah. Yeah. Or he had pieces of that already and he customized it to be the perfect response. Now, you know, they keep saying it's a leak, right? And the only person I know how can it be a leak and it's on his insta his it's on his youtube no what i'm saying is somebody that's going that's telling information on both sides it can't just confirm that in the um this earlier today right yeah i got my practices in a guess who i think it is <laughs> i don't even know about i got the time to listen to all of this i gotta go back and listen to this this is my birthday today, man. I, I think I thank a lot for giving me some uh, entertainment on my birthday. Um, I got an album that I'm about to drop, and I'm like, damn. <laughs> it's, it, look, it's tour season. It's, they on their bullshit. It's, it's tour season, and they is on their bullshit. i like, man, what am I supposed to do with this? First of all, that's six minutes. No, Drake's is seven minutes, and his is six minutes. I don't have 12 minutes to keep going back and forth with these guys. These, first of all, these diss tracks are too long. <laughs> I don't have 12 minutes to just keep going back and forth. How, how can I go back and just dissect these? I'm going to have a whole hour by the time I'm done. I don't have 12 minutes. That's like doing homework. That's like taking a whole course. This is too long. These damn diss tracks need to be cut down. I know I said focus on long form content, but they really doing high level conversations on each other. All right, I'm gonna cut this out. <laughs> Buster, what's your opinion? Who been who just dropped the one's diss? All right, so look, look, I'm gonna tell you why. This is this is y'all not gonna like this. I loved Drake's when he first dropped it. <laughs> <laughs> But what did I say? I just told Slum the best way to do this is to, it's in news you call hijacking somebody's news cycle. Yeah. So while theirs is spinning, you got to take the breath out of it. So now it don't give people no room to breathe on this. I said, don't let the black Twitter get it. Don't let the blogs get it. Don't let the world go crazy. So now they have to now create content and propaganda, all of the different audiences based on both. Yeah. Drake don't drop this is this, this is essentially the first time in history you get two diss tracks on the same day. And they both good. And they both good. And we just got three. This is three Kendrick tracks. This is like a whole album at this point. I like it. This was different. I like it. I don't even. I ain't even got time to. I gotta go back. But I ain't gonna lie. When I first heard Kendrick's, I'm like, oh, that boy in trouble. And Kendrick, I mean, Drake's is still raw. It was still raw, but the timing and the strategy of dropping it right after doesn't even give the, the, the track the necessary room to breathe for it to have the effect that it could have if that's all you had to listen to. The fact that Kendrick responded that fast, he get a point for that. Listen, here's what it is. Drake dropped enough to give his fans what they want. But Kendrick dropped some shit inside of it to where he gave us more. This man said he got a daughter and all. This man was talking to his kids. This thing got so disrespectful, I don't know how they're going to end this. Kenny knew it was coming for sure. He knew he was going to drop a bomb and he like, I'm just going to wait. I'm just going to wait. Let me talk to your son and tell him about his morals. Let me address you guys. I'm like, whoa, wait a minute. Why he talking to this man like this? He talking to this man like, this is going to be a record his son has to listen to forever. His son, 
This is why it's messed up because his son is old enough to have to listen to forever. This is one of the most disrespectful diss tracks that we got. It was the most respectfully disrespectful. Because we ain't got no information out of this. The first diss track that got some information out of it. Kendrick dropped talking about he got more baby mamas and more children he hiding and he started talking about him buying prostitutes and all kind of shit. I ain't even get a chance to goddamn. I'm on the same live. I'm on the same live. And I was just listening to that boy Drake and then Kendrick dropped, man. Shout out to the gods. The man said he started dropping 5% of knowledge. I don't know what to do right now, man. It's my birthday. It's tour season. So for all y'all that got a problem with me focusing on this, I don't want to hear nothing else. It's my birthday. I get to enjoy myself. You feel me? If y'all want to hear my album, make sure y'all join the community. I'm going to drop a link. You feel me? At midnight for people to be able to buy it. Somebody tell me what this sound like. Gossip beef, man. Listen, it's a diss track. What y'all want from this shit? The man didn't get you, you clever dissections of decoded high-level observations. He didn't get you the information in it. He didn't get you the entertaining in it. He didn't get you a hit song that's currently number one charting on billboards. The man didn't get you everything. Now, Drake came back with the Draco. He shot up the block. The problem is he didn't kill Kendrick when he said he was dead because at the end, he said, you're dead. And Kendrick was like, no, I'm not. If I'm dead, explain this. And he came and he was like, bro, what the fuck is you talking about? Nigga, I'm right here. Shut up to Kendrick Lamar, man. First of all, you 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 know, when you start dropping some of that God body science, you got me. You know, shout out to Kendrick Lamar. I ain't gonna lie. I just listened to the Kendrick Lamar. I just listened to the Drake. And this is disrespectful beyond this is disrespectful. I just listened to Family Matters. And I listened to um the Grams. What's it called? The, we called that shit the uh, Meet the Grams. This shit just went, they just went and tapped each other's family, man. First of all, I don't think that's crazy because once a person attacks your family, it's at the highest level, man. It's the heaviest it can get. Like, I kill for the family. That's crazy. But yeah, it's, it done got out of pocket. It's an all out war. It ain't, at this point, it reached a point where, you know, you know, like Kendrick had to be at home and his baby mama and his, his, his wife or whatever was like, bro, kill this nigga. Like, they out here making men kill him. If he dies, he dies. Same thing, Drake looking his son in the face of his baby mamas. You know what I mean? Mamas, I don't know how many he got. I don't know. I ain't in that man business. But they was like, man, you better go at him. You better protect us. How did man do? It's different outside, man. I had to look outside. I said, it's different outside. <laughs> how he dropped in 30 minutes. I know. <laughs> This is some supreme level. We ain't never seen it played at this level where it's like, yo, I'm going to bait you to drop. I'm going to double back. I'm going to do decodings. I'm going to do this. This the highest. This is this is high level. So let me ask y'all, who do y'all got winning? Do y'all have Drake or do y'all have Kendrick Lamar? Kendrick Lamar had a high level conversation. He should have, I ain't going to lie, he should have called it high level conversation. <laughs> <laughs> who y'all got winning because i don't I, I can't i can't deal with this this is different this is disrespectful this is nasty this is this is next levels you know what i'm saying i hope these black men half black men black men whatever going on with themselves man i hope they get this together i hope their children get tucked in tonight and i, I pray they all safe and everything man them and all their baby mamas and wives and dramas that they got going on man because uh this had just reached a level that's um it's disrespectful. It's disrespectful, man. I hope them and all they kids is like, I hope they can sleep tonight. That's all. I already know probably Kendrick and Drake, they probably on this live right now. I got to see what Key's saying. Listen, I say y'all boys did y'all thing, but I'm going to say, tell you, Drake, you got to drop again. Some people might, you Drake friends, here's the thing. Drake has enough fans where people will be like, he done enough. I'm going to be honest with you. But they're not going to be ignoring. They're not going to have the ability to ignore what Kendrick has done 30 minutes later. Because now on the same stream that Kai Sinet, same stream that uh, Academics or Joe Button or any of these people talk about Drake, 
they now have to listen to the Kendrick Lamar track back to back on the same one. He didn't get an opportunity to bring it. What y'all didn't know is I really love this shit, man. I, I grew up battling back on the block, man. We used to we used to go back and forth in the streets, man. I I, I watch URL. I know Smack. You know what I'm saying? Like we tapped in. So I enjoy the sport. And this is my birthday, so I'ma just kick back and relax. And uh I'm gonna have to listen to both of these again and reanalyze and like figure out what's going on in these hip hop streets. Yeah, I, I'm gonna have to get Kendrick to win for that one. He just she just disrespected it. I'm gonna have to get Kendrick to win for that one. Damn. Not gonna lie, I had I just gave Drake a point, but I gotta give Kenny a point too, which means I already had Kendrick up, so that means he's winning. 